Welcome everyone. This is Cindy the Crochetery. Thank you for joining me and well, and I welcome all those who are returning and who are just new and maybe checking me out for the first time. I just pretty much show makes. Um, I do some unboxings and I do a few other things. Um, cooking, not little cooking recipes, but I do little cooking things that uh, I enjoy and I and I've found it on Google too and YouTube so <laughs> I'm just passing that information on but today is sunny and I think it's actually sunny and nice not like sometimes when it's sunny and you know it's cold outside um, I don't see the wind or anything but it's Friday and I hope everyone has a good weekend I am showing you this whip before I put it down and go to my other whips I so thought I would come on here uh, and have it as a finished object, but two blocks have um, been stubborn for me and I don't feel like frogging the entire blocks. I think I have to, um, I think I have to frog two blocks and um, I got to frog the, them because they've, I've attached them. But then, I don't know, my counts are off, and I did screw up at the beginning of one block, but thought it would be okay. But then somehow I got short by 30-some stitches, so I don't know what's going on. I have to figure it out. But anyways, I was going for a beach theme. This came on Dana Wonderlust. I hope that's her channel name. Like I said, I, I, I'm... I'm bad at knowing if you have like more than one word in your um or more than two i i don't i i forget so <laughs> i apologize but it will be in the description and she was uh promoting a lady and her um facebook channel and there was a challenge going on and they were we at the time i was pretty pretty caught up like I'd, I'd do a block and they released two or three blocks already and so I pretty much kept up and everything and I still have anyways the yarn I used I won't go into too much detail but I used weight three and it came from a Patsy's crochet box that she uh, gifted me and I used all of her color of yarns most of her box is like half gone now but I use different shades, as you can see. I was trying to, this is my first block. So it goes like this. And the gray that you see in between are to represent the rocks that you see in the beach. So this first block, I will definitely tell you, um, if you push through it, you may end up wanting to finish the rest. This struggled because it was a simple stitch, but this, is called seaside I know for sure and so that got me into doing the beach theme so this was block one and I think I mixed up a couple of blocks so I don't know if they're necessarily in the same order but then I used this golden one and they possibly could be backwards because I'm just some just are hard to figure out what are um, what's the right side and the wrong side and then I moved on to here and I like the way they uh, they attached everything it was a cool way I like that way they attached and I know some people have suggested you know to, to connect it all one by one but I think I like the look and I'm one where if um, I kind of want to follow the person's pattern you know because that's how they want to design it but it's each to their own and so here's another one and these blues were representing the different skies and blues in the water and then you know I was able to do some sand again and this was going to be my water and then this yellow was supposed to represent you know the Sun and then I have two more that I was going to I was going to put this one on top so you know the water the sun and then the sky and there's this one 
and that was that pattern for that block and then the last one I didn't have like I have still some white and some other ones that had like bits of specks of blue and yellow and pink but I'm like there's no pink in here so I didn't want to use that so I decided well I got a lot of scrap from each block after I finished it so I decided to make my own cake and because that's what I always do uh, been doing that since last year and everything my own cakes um, so I just kind of tried to make it match the way the blanket went and then when I attached it to this one it will just kind of be like the final you know one and this is what it turned out to be so you get to see what the color weight was on here and I like the patterns they were easy to follow but I don't know where I went wrong with the counts or I was just very loose one day and very tight on the other ones it could be just the yarns were different because they were different company yarns so I used premier anti peelings and then I used um, um, JC Brett I believe let me see I'll dig out but it's kind of cool to see like yeah see I got a little bit of blue left and I got a little bit of this color left but um yeah I got I used um, anti peeling everyday stripes that was the seaside one and then I think there was um, oh yeah and then the, this this one was the premier basics which I like to use as well and then the lighter blues and the yellows came from super soft baby double knit from James James C Brett I believe yeah James C Brett and so those were, um, and I think also I wanted to um, put it all in scraps so that I can officially say, yes, I've used all these labels already this year. <laughs> but that is my blanket and why it's going into a whip. I will show you in a second. Oh, that's, is, um, there's two things there is I don't know where it went wrong. I was crocheting one night while I was watching some, look at how long this turned out to be. Like, look at how overcounted I was on this one. I must have been going late, late. And you can see I've been trying to recount. And then I was trying to recount up top here to see what was going on. And I don't understand how I, I think I got the right count at the bottom, so it was okay to attach, but somewhere up here, I, <laughs> I lost 30 stitches. So this was my one that I didn't want to frog back, because as you can see, it's supposed to look like this, and it looks like this, but I didn't think it would matter. So I have to read this block. Luckily... In those tags I put in which block was which block so I believe this was block six so I think it's gonna be easy to figure out which blocks are watch because um, I, I just I know you know they're they're all different you know each block so I can figure this out, but I don't know what went wrong with me over here. Like, hello. <laughs> Look how long I could do, like, I don't know. I think I counted I was like 247, and this I was short by 30. I don't know. I still haven't figured it out, but I'm now officially going to put this aside for right now 
And then I'm going to go and do my best buddy blanket. If you haven't heard of it, just go hashtag best buddy blanket cal. Uh, there's no like a de definite end. So if any of you are still working on yours or haven't started and or haven't heard of it, just go and do the hash hashtag. It will be in the description and join. Like I'm I've picked that up yesterday, so I'm now going to focus on my best buddy blanket. And I have some doilies. If you haven't seen that video of, I couldn't believe I did it, but I started doing them. Video, I think it's titled something like that. It's a couple of videos back. But I show the different types of doilies that I've gotten into. And I am currently making the big star one, a couple of those. And so that is what I'm doing right now. I hope you all have a good weekend. I hope your day is going good whenever you watch this. Uh, thank you for always tuning back into me. And I just, um, yeah, thank you for everything. Um, you all have boosted my confidence more ways than you can imagine. And there is like fluff, and I'm trying not to touch my nose, but I'm sorry. When fluff cat hair comes along, <laughs> or fibers... You need to scratch that nose, even though you're doing video. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to let you go. I'm trying to keep it short because this is just one long whip. And it's the Artistian Challenge Blanket, I believe it was called. I will make sure everything is in the information. And yeah, this is my summery beachside blanket. And it's huge, like... I'm going to see if I can uh, lay it on a bed and take a picture of it. But that is what has been keeping me busy ever since she released. Um, she was um, did that one live and she was promoting it and getting people to do. I believe the next day I, I was like, oh, I know what yarns I could use and everything like that. So, yep, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And all this yarn is like really soft. I like this Premier Basics and uh, C James C. Brett. This one could go like... Sorry. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Anyways, that's not... No, no. Alrighty. Take care, all. Love you. Love you, love you. Bye, all.